day viewers, welcome to another edition of the State of the Gambia. This show is finally brought to you by Sahel Network TV. This show believe in, um, we believe in facts and evidence. We do not believe in lengthy talks or telling lies. And that is why today we invite Honorable Mr. Bachir. Can you please introduce yourself to the viewers, sir? Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mangin new the whole entire Gambia. Mangin new Mr. President at Cabinet Ambi. My new IGP, my new IEC, like executive members, and me. My new new Nekasi Tanka Tanka, new Feber Nekasi Hospital, be. My new Halei, my new presidency, my new some executive members, yep. My new some militancy, some supporters of Gambia Action Party. My new Gambian, so Nekasi Gambia and outside Gambia, and Musa Yari Bachili, the Secretary General and the Party Leader of Gambia and Action Party. Um, thank you very much for that wonderful introduction of yours. I definitely appreciate it. But Mr. Bachir, what is the, what is your position on the political landscape of the Gambia? Are you happy with the way the situation is? Because every now and then we see a formation of new political party. Um, those that means that we in a democratic dispensation and multi-party democracy is allowed, and that is why we have different political parties. What is your view towards that? Well, Gambia is a small country. Multiple parties is a sign of democracy. So there, each and every Gambian has the right to form his own political party. To me, that's an increasement. It's a betterment of the country. But basically, we don't need... My main objective is the betterment of Gambia. So as political parties, they can come and join. You can form up to 30, 40, 50 political parties. If the agenda is for yourself, uh, deprived from it. But if the agenda is for the betterment of Gambians, we can form a powerful unity government to better men of this country. That's very clear. But clearly what is been in the Gambia is that so many people have been discouraged with the formation of new political parties in the Gambia. And perhaps they did not understand as you understood that um, it is democratic dispensation and therefore we have multi-party democracy that could be established. But well, people are saying the politics in this Gambia is not decent. Because in a number of occasions, politicians have been making promises, but at the end of the day, they did not do any of those promises. And yet still, we have people, you know, that trying to enter into that narration. So, does that mean people are not, you know, feeling comfortable with the way politicians are doing their work? Mr. Jallo, let me come to the point now. Like, I'm going to use an example. Our first Deputy Secretary General and Party Leader, his name Honorable Omar Bay, he wanted to form a political party called GPP, Gambia People's Party. I have a lengthy conversation with him and I told him, look, you have the right, you have the money, you have the know-how to form your political party. But if you put Gambia at heart first, like I do, you don't need to form a political party. We disagree, agree, disagree up to six months. Eventually, lucky for us, a Gambian party, Gambian action party, the man came. He didn't form his party. And we chose him, we spoke, we, when I say we, I'm talking about the executive, we made, um, we made an emergency meeting. And I break it down to, the, to my executives, and then they buy the idea, and then we gave him the nomination to be our first deputy secretary general party leader. He agreed. The man is powerful. He has crowd. That's what we call uh, um, um, the man who loves Gambia at heart. If he was power hungry, somebody who wanted to form a political party, he wanted to contest as a president, a leader of a political party, rather. Now I convince him with the help of Allah as a gel, and he see that my vision and his vision, our party and his party to be are the same in line, he stopped. That's what we call somebody who loves Gambia hard. People, I mean, some people might form a political party based on individual interests. I will never be in line with them. Some might even say that I'm forming a political party because of the betterment of the country. But uh, generally, like the suppression powers of Gambia here, since 1965, PPP, they form a party. Jawara, because our late father, he's the leader. You come to Jammeh, he's the leader. You come to all the political party, Usenu Dabo, Uncle Usen, all. Gab said, I'm the leader, and the party sector general said, look, I need to separate powers here to show that we are a democratic party. You have the leader, the deputy party leader, you have Flag Biara, you have yeah. Admin Sector, everybody has his own opposition. Betterment of those a powerful position, join hands together, will lead us to do what we have to do. But when you said you own the party, you are the leader, you are the secretary general, you are the flag, at the end of the day, they subdue. I said no. And that is why majority of governments are saying, 
and most of these political parties in the Gambia are not in democratic in line. Most of them, the party leader that used to be there is the same party leader that will be there for more than 50 years or more than 30 years. That is, that is dictatorial. T to me, it is. If you believe in yourself that you are, you are a concerned, responsible, and indivisible citizen, and you love the Gambian heart. Are you wanna tell do you wanna tell me you are the only competent guy within your, your executive or within your party member? No, hell no. If I serve for five and ten years and I didn't win, I will give chance to brilliant kids, brilliant Gambians. Like that's what we did. Now our form, I'm the founder of the Pol uh, Gambia Action Party. I initiated the party. We registered the party. I'm the Secretary General Party Leader of the party. Now I said, no, I don't want to be president. We chose Lemon Honorable Boja to be our president candidate to be on our party level. When we reach in Congress, if he has an oppose, fine. If he doesn't have a post and the Congress chooses him, on the party level we chose him. But to be more democratic, we have to go to Congress. When we reach in Congress, if he has no oppose, he still maintained to be a presidential candidate on the ticket of GAP, and he wrote the show. And recent, so, recently, uh, President Baro established his political party, but still now he did not get into uh, you know, Congress, but he is still in existence. Why do you think such form of behavior should be accepted? But actually, we, 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 to be honest with you, he has the right to form his own political party. But He's the president. He should have, you know, he should definitely have you know, Congress. Yeah, Congress. It's a requirement. Yeah, it's right. a requirement at the end of the all, even us, we are formed last year. You have to do Congress before every two years. We'll do our Congress in December or any time from now, but the deadline is December. He has the right to do Congress. If, if, if NPP leader go to Congress and there's someone who want to contest against him, he has the right. But if he said, no, I don't want to have a oppo oppose, then if they go, no, we don't want nobody to oppose him, to me, it's not democratic. And Gambian Action Party is a democratic party. Honorable Bojan is our flag bearer on our party level. Let me clarify this, on our party level. And then when we go to Congress, if someone is interested to contest against him, they have the right. If there is no contest, for me, I'm not interested to be president. Unless, until I have now seen among all of the executives who has the same heart, the love that I have the country, then I contest. But for now, he's our presidential candidate. We support him, we love him, we groom him, we work with him, we will send him to the government to know that he's the future president. And recently, Marisen, Marisok rather, mm -hmm. she urged all political parties in the government to you know, back her for her to remove President Bak. What is your position in the political party? What mm -hmm. do you say to that? Do respect to Marisek, Marisok. She's my elder sister. Marisok live, we live together in our house. Marisok's mother, is the suburb, the reason that I and my siblings, my younger brothers and sisters, to go to school. My grandfather is more uh, um, 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 kind of very strict old man. He doesn't want us to go to, he didn't want us to go to school. He wants us to send on the madrasa. So Marisok's mother came and convinced my grandfather. So, uh, and then my grandfather agreed, starting from me, me and my siblings, we went to school through the suburb of Marisok's mother. Marisok is my biological sister. I'm the one who introduced Marisok to GDC, my former party. We start and he, she did best. She was the one organizing the, the, photo, sh the photo shoots of uh, uh, Honorable Mama Kande, and then you know, even adjust the symbol of, of um, how you call it, um, GDC, the calabash. She, she, she was, she was hardworking, but you know, there was a little difference between um, 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 political ideology. And then, and then, and, and she left. I was there with, with the GDC until two me I left, and then um, I formed my own political party with my, you know, with all my, my good people. And I went to her and I tell her that I've, I told her that I formed the party, and she prayed for me. When she when she stood too, I went to her office, and then and I prayed for her. She's my biological sister, um, saying that she she want all political party to rally behind her. That's a good idea, but everybody has their own opinion. Uh, let's wait till when the right time comes, then whether we, the government political party will decide to rally on her or she will decide to join one of the concerned um, 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 formidable unity government who want to remove the president in next election. So until then, this is the, this is the only thing I have to say. She's a good sister. She's brilliant. She loves Gambit heart. And, um, and she's my elder sister. For me, I tell her sister, good day. And recently, we showed the European Union Commission who has made openly to see the Gambia should respect the human rights for the gay, lesbians, 
and all political parties, almost even your party has made pronunciation. But yes, we did not have any utterance or anything from the MPP, which is Barokam, and from the government. They did not have any position. So those silence amounts to acceptance. We have political insanity. What do you mean? But when I mean political insanity is here, look, human beings are human beings. If Allah, the creator of seven heavens, I'm not here talking about religion. But who created us? Can I create myself? Hell no. Can my mom create myself? Hell no. Can my father create me? Hell no. It's God who created me saying that homosexuality, are, they are criminals. So who are they? Who are the European Union telling us the criminals, entrepreneurs, I call them the criminal entrepreneurs, coming to us to accept their business entrepreneurs? That means we are, they are mad. To me, they are mad completely. They are totally mad. You know, if the government don't say anything objecting them, we, the political party leaders, we have the right to sensitize our people that this act is not only a human, it's a criminal act. Because Allah, who created them and us, tell them they're criminals. There's no joke about that. In your own room, we don't care. Only the God-led government, whatever you do in your room, whatever you do in your house, we care less. But when you come outside, two men, Ibrahim and Musa, holding their hands, you end up going to Janjambure. Fatima and Aisha, holding their own hands, you go to Janjambure. But in your room, in your house, in your bedroom, I have no, that's not my concern. Okay, I'm trying to help these laws. If you call yourself a human right, human right. We have poverty lines in the Gambia, in the whole of Africa, the whole entire world. People are hungry. They don't have better food. They don't have better medication. They don't have better hospital, better roads. Why won't you European Union come with the Africa? We don't need their help. They can come and trade with us the resources that we have. Buy and sell it. Huh? We, they, we sell it to them and the resource we need for them, the medical equipments, this technology we need for them, they can come and build in our house, in our country. That's our house. So that we can transform our country to be better for the citizen. Not them exposing, imposing us that they should have human rights. What kind of human rights? How can you right give a criminal rights? A criminal is a criminal. Are you with me? I have respect for all human beings. I'm not saying they are bad past. I'm not saying that um, actually they, they don't they don't they don't supposed to live in a society. They can live in our society. They can trade with us. But the act, I'm talking about the act. Two men, Musa and Omar, kissing each other in the street. My brother, are we under the government? Government, you are going to Janjambure. But the Gambian government is quiet about it. The Gambian government need to talk now. We urge you, Mr. President, to come up. We chose him. We elected him, not his power. Mr. President, if it's about money, you will never be president. There's billionaires sitting in Gambia. They got money. They will see which account is fat and automatically become a president. No. The masses chose you. They trust you. They love you. They respect you. They run after you. They scream. Some of them marriage were divorced because of borough election. Now those people come and voted for you, my brother. These Europeans... Europeans, a human being like us, can the European allow the African Union go tell them polygamy, polygamy to marry up to five wives or four, sorry, four wives in, in their own country? They will never allow. But they allow you to have one wife with seven mistresses that come fornication. To me, it's political insanity. I'm urging the European Union. We have, we, 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 we have social, corporate social responsibility European Union with African Union, European Union ambassadors with each country of the African countries that what we need from you guys, let's do our trade. You buy from our resources, what we have, we sell our resources to you guys, and what we need from you guys, you bring us what we need from them. Business, we help you, you help us. What we need from you, you don't come and tell us how we live in our own country. Who are they? They are bad. So that's why I call political insanity. So I'm urging the Europeans to stay away from this it's uh, this issue here. We don't need no homosexuality. If they want to have their own homosexual in Europe, that's them because that's our country. But in Africa, it's inhuman. It's uncalled for. Have you ever seen two frogs, two male frogs, 
two dogs, two male dogs, two male sheep, ram, eh? two male cows, two male ca camel, or any kind of thing, having love, making love? Hell no. What's more sweeter than Fatmata and Zainab holy married in their room? They will enjoy yourself. And when, when they will have beneficiary, if I die now, God forbid, for 100 years from now, but if I die now, who's going who gonna to benefit me? Who's going to inherit me? My kids. Huh? But if, 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 if two gays, male gays, married to each other, they don't have kids, when they die, who's the beneficiary? That's madness. That's what I call political insanity. We have poverty level in Gambia. Masi se amu lunyo leka sa, oma, Mr. Jalo. Nitu nyunge sona. Nga dem su hospital halin dao nyunga kidney problem. So Gambia se bun hulo, bun her, let's not fight, let's not fight. Let's not argue. We have, we have our voter's card. We call it the biological nuclear weapon. Our voter's card is our biological nuclear weapon. If the president don't respect the Gambian decision, let's not argue. We wait for him in the ballot box. We kick him out. We put the right people in the right position. At the right time, we move our country. And then, you know what, what really surprised me sometimes? They say, oh, don't, don't, don't fight with the hand that, that, that's feeding you. Oh, are the Europeans feeding us? Well, they pump in huge amount of money. Do we need their money? We are richer than them. <laughs> Look at the River Gambia alone. Our River Gambia alone, our River Gambia alone can take care of ourselves. That's why we, our logo is River Gambia. You understand, my brother? If River Gambia alone can take care of ourselves, do we need them? Hell no, we don't need them. In fact, they don't have no money. They are taking our monies from us. Look at the agreement, the European agreement, tuna fish agreement. How can you arm me for five for five million euros? When 342 kilos of tuna fish cost 1.8 million dollars. And there is type of tuna fishes. The more, the bigger is, the, the blue went cost 4.5 million dollars up to. So why are you telling me a ton of a tuna fish? They, they say 136 euros in Gambia. A ton of tuna fish in Europe is 1,200 1, euros. The heck is 1,700 euros. Are they playing mad? That's why I say we have political insanity here. Even our trading system. I'm urging Mr. President. The agreement that he did with the European Union, let them tender that in the parliament. We vet it. If it's good for the Gambians, we could, if, it, it will never be good for the Gambians, in fact. We re, re change or revisit the agreement. It's for us. We're not stupid. Africans are bullying. Look at the population of, of um, 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 the African, West Africa alone. 400 plus million human, human beings living in West Africa. Can we trade? Guinea Conakry, vast trade with Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone trade with Liberia, Liberia trade with Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso trade with Mali, Mali trade with Senegal, Sen and then we do our inter, inter regional trades. But, but you have, from when I said that, you have already quoted that it is Allah who made us. But you see Imams who are very religious who are even leaders within prayers, are also in support of that, that, that act. So don't you think there's a problem in our society? Uh, Mr. Jalo, Surah Al-Munafiqun, the Surah of Hypocrite, is that meant for disbelievers? <laughs> it's meant for the Muslim who know the truth and they, defy, they def deviate themselves from the truth. Any Imam, of any Imam who support homosexuality, the intent of support, you are criminal. Because it is mentioned in the Quran, homosexuality, those acts of it, they are criminal. I didn't say they are criminal. The creator who created them, who gave them the ears and beautiful eyes, mouth, and make them men and women, give them their private parts, telling them the act, woman and man, it is woman and a man, halal. Uh, there will be no two men, two, 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 two women. Who agree two women and two male act, you are considered criminal. It's the God word, not me. So any, the imams who ever involved in this, I'm urging any, I'm not, I'm not mentioning names here, I'm urging the imam to come publicly and apologize because you're human. Everybody is born to make mistake. But hypocrites are hypocrites. We call it political insanity, man. It's about benching money. It's a money sweat. But people, you have to believe in ourselves. Like I said, Operation New Mom Sumbopa. So they feel confident and deliver. Until then, if the Europeans are coming and imposing their criminal, this is called, I call them criminal, criminal, how you call it? Criminal um, 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 ideas to us. 
Because if the creator itself, the act of it is criminal. Why are you imposing criminal ideas to us? Impose betterment ideas, corporate social responsibility, European Union, African Union, join hands to trade, to benefit each and other for the better of the human mankind. But it is not only the European. Look at the Chinese too. In the Gambia, the Chinese, um, they, they, they have more power than even the Europeans in the Gambia. Uh, they own vast lands in the Gambia. And we just see them in the Gambia. We do not know the agreement that they have within the government. But they are still in existence, exploring Gambia. Just recently in, in, in Rwanda, 15 Chinese were deported because the president feel that they are they're doing exploitation of land but equally exploiting their citizens. What do you say to the Gambia in the situation of the Chinese? Because they're getting too much power in the Gambia. In fact, more powerful than the Gambians. Any leader who allows their citizens to be recolonized by foreign powers because of the individual interests, that leader is not a leader. I'm urging Mr. President Barrow to reconsider the agreement between the Chinese because if a gap led government is in power, we will reconsider their visit. In China, I have no problem with China. All I told, or what I said is, is we need corporate social responsibility. Our river is owned, it belongs to us. Chinese, they need something from us. We need something from them. Let them bring all the equipments fishing gear equipment to us. We do our maritime education in the country. Our youths are here, we educated them. Some will enter in the sea and do the fishing, some will do the process supply. The Chinese, the fish they need from us. We sell it to them in the international market. Let them do their process. That's what we call social responsibility. Social corporate, uh, corporate social responsibility. But if they come here, dictating us in a, in a how you call, economic enslavement, I call it economic enslavement because you know I'm desperate. You come, you say, okay, I need this, I need this. In turn, you start giving me two, three, four hundred million dollars. I don't need that. I'm urging Mr. President Barrow to reconsider the agreement. Chinese, they have to know we'll be in power. In China, if I'm a billionaire, if I'm a billionaire in China, yes. I can even buy a land there. I can go and get the product. The product that they are even fabricating in China is from Africa. The raw material will come from Africa. Send it to China, reprocess it again, resell it to double prices that they bought it from Africa. Like in Mozambique, in 10 years, if the Mozambique government don't repay, they will be colonized by the Chinese. We, Gambian, I'm telling the Chinese that government, in fact, we respect you, we got respect on the lead, gap led government, we work with you guys based on corporate social responsibility. If the president is doing whatever, if Mr. President do whatever which does, does not in line with the betterment of the country, next election is moving out. And recently, when 2016 election, the government was so committed and there were reforms that they want to put in place. Recently, we have seen the Constitutional Review Commission, Commission has finally made their draft and it was submitted to the president. But the cabinet, you know, agree or, or make a pronunciation that they did not, they are not happy with the way the Constitution is being moved. One of the provisions that they were not happy with is um, schedule, schedule 4, sub 5 of that schedule, which indicate that the president term of office started at the time he was inaugurated, not after the constitution came into effect. What is your question towards that? That, that? Your last statement, the president must know that he's not here forever. A good leader will never even, a true leader that you know you want to produce, you want to deliver. Why are you, why are you making complication that um, my first five years should not be included? It's your bonus. bonus. Nah. A good leader's my first five years should be. It should be a bonus by showing us what you have done in that four years. They have not done anything. But well, they say they did, you know, roads in, Bans, uh, in Basse, the Gambia College in Basse, and other, you know, development, electrification in the rural Gambia. Expansion of projects and other stuff. In Basel, six days, there's no light. <laughs> well, during Jamaican time, uh, they have light every day from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Probably they don't have light for just for five hours. Six days, there's no light. The capital city, sometimes you go hours, no light. What have they done? They have not done anything. They're just enriching themselves. Enriching themselves. There's more corrupted governments than even Jami regime. I'm not supporting Jami. Jami has done good and he has done bad. Jami's good to me is the sovereignty. Our sovereignty is respected. Our security system is respected.